Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is Raouf and today I will be talking about the Flutter documentation and how you can get the most out of it with just a few simple tips and tricks. So let's just get started. The first thing that you should know is that the Flutter documentation is available offline. You don't know to go you don't need to go to the Flutter website docs.flutter.io to see the, the documentation because they are actually um, generated from the source code and as you know the Flutter, uh, the Flutter framework is open source so you can always go and see the source code uh, written in Dart and uh, above it you will see this documentation which is the same documentation in the website now the second tip is for you if you are android ios react native web or xamarin forms developers and you want to use your prior knowledge or experience to get started with flutter you don't know to go through all the basics you just want to use your prior experience and get started so for example if you are a react native developer just go to this page here and you will get a lot of information and comparison between uh, flutter and react native not just in a uh, height level way but in in code like the, you will see how to do it in in the react native way and how to do it in the flutter way uh, now let's say you are trying to discover new things in the flutter framework or you found fa found yourself in the situation maybe you are trying to use this uh, property you will just go to the source code and you will see that it's a double property you will just give it maybe 100 you don't you don't have any problem with that but let's say you are in the decoration property and you go to the decoration so you will find it's a type of decoration but the type decor the decoration type is an abstract class and you can just use it you can't instantiate something like a decoration for example decoration here you can't use that because it's an abstract class and you will see the error just right here that you can't uh, create an, uh, an an abstract class so you you will try to find a way or you will try to find some concrete implementation for that class and you can do that with some help of the IDE but the the fastest way to do it is through the documentation for example ju just go to the documentation of the container maybe or any other widget and you will find this property which uh, we're looking right now the decoration where is decoration yeah the decoration is right here and then as you can see there is something called implementers this part is very very useful part so, so now you can just grab any of these and use it Do, did you know before that you can use the flutter logo decoration as a, a decoration in your uh, de, uh, in your container i don't think so but maybe it's not useful it, uh, all of the times but maybe in sometimes it's useful uh, useful sorry uh, for now let's try to use a shape decoration shape decoration uh, for example and I will find myself again in this situation where the shape is of type shape border and the shape border is an abstract class so what to do uh, you will do the same let's go to the shape border and again go to the to the shape property and then to the shape border and you will see the implementer so just try to use any of them uh, for example i will use the box uh, the box border and it will not complain about that box border or circle sorry not box border circle border like this okay now you are saying that the those are very helpful tips but i am on master channel and the docs.flutter.io is a uh, documentation are generated from the stable channel so i'm not getting any updates in the documentation don't worry because there is another website called master-docs.flutter.io where you will get the the documentation generated from the master channel now let's talk about another problem which is the examples problem maybe sometimes you go a little bit deeper in the flutter framework and you don't find uh, any good ex uh, any good examples for example this sliver list 
as you can see there is a really really good explanation on how to use it or the life cycle or anything but you don't find any uh, implementation or any simple that you can just uh, try it to see how it works. In, in that case you should go to the flutter repo uh, like this you should go to the flutter repo and use the same name uh, for your search like this is the name uh, sliver list and go be sure that you are in the flutter flutter not just flutter in general uh, and paste it here and search in this repo and you will find a lot of code like you, you should know that you are here in the code tab but just go and try to find the test one flutter test here you will find the widget test or any other kind of test and in this test file uh, let's take a look you will find this example this example is how to use your sliver list uh, this one is how to use the sliver list and you will not just find one example You've, you will find a lot of other examples just uh, give it a try and see how it works now for our last tip you need to go and install a, f a chrome extension i don't know if it's available for other uh, stores but in the chrome extensions it's available called the flutter developer just install this um, this extension and you will find this new button in your flutter documentation to go to the source code in the github repo directly from uh, from the flutter documentation which is sometimes really really helpful so that's it for my video this time. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.